Suck it, bitch! Die! It's time we end this! As long as the Star God won't sway, there will be dusk in this world. As long as man exists, there will be no end to the darkness. Yeah, that's why I'm called Dark. I will become the darkness that man is in. Starting to collapse! You've gotta get out of there! Hurry! God damn it, Clock! Roger that! Done it! Run, kids! Serena, darling, let's go! Ah, the Pandora Labyrinth is vanishing! High Priest! Dusk energy density is dropping rapidly worldwide! Dusk circles around the world are vanishing one after another. Star God, we've finally done it. Peace has returned to Atera. Oh yeah, baby. We kicked his ass and its ass and God forsaken stupid bullshit's ass and as such we have multiple says because I'm doing something. The night the dust circles and dark crystals vanished across the world. The brand disappeared from all arms of the uh, yeah, from the arms of all disciples. And the star children have fought alongside us until now. They returned to the Star God as well. With the combined strength of the disciples and graduates of the Atara Academy, we have finally put an end to the long history of war that has consumed us. I represent all the people of Atara when I say this to you. Thank you, everyone. But we must all remember this. The Star God is still warning us through the Rootstone. As long as humanity has desires, the dust circles are sure to appear again. I was the one who received the Star God's holy vision. Shouldn't I get to say that? You're the creepy old dude who told me the classmate at the very beginning and then saw a hawk and popped at the window and so said, No! No, you don't get to! Chloe's cute. Fuck you. We decided that the disciples will be more receptive to the message if Chloe says it. What was that? Sorry, I take it back. In any case, her podium isn't quite high enough. Huh? 
she was a little higher, I'd be able to see up her skirt. Ooh, such a pity. Ah, uh, I'm starting to be glad we didn't allow you to give that speech. You pervy old bastard till the end. Well then, lastly, let's have a few words from the God's gift, now that he's safely returned. Ah. Uh, huh? Wait, you want me to give a speech? Of course. I mean, you're Atara's hero. Um. Uh, Alec. Alright. <laughs> I'm sitting like it. Well, I was going to say a little something and just get back to Luce, so. Your wish for world peace has come true. Because of everyone at the Academy. I'm planning on watching over Luce until she fully recovers. Yeah? I mean, I've got tons of time on my hands after all. Yeah, that's true. Things are crazy at Angel Marker. Now's not the time to have a part-time job there. Oh. That reminds me. Ruby's gonna be released tomorrow, right? It's all thanks to the information Mark left behind. It proved that Ruby wasn't deeply involved with Zaya's schemes. I wonder if Mark's smiling down on us from heaven. Definitely. <laughs> I'm sure he is. That crazy idiot couldn't help but keep an eye on us. This academy will be closing its doors after the current school year ends. What are you gonna do after all this? Sure. I may have decided yet, but I got a couple options open. I see. But before that, there's still the Star Conception Festival to go to. Who are you going to ask to go with you? Yeah! Klaus, the one I'm gonna ask to the Star Conception Festival is... Fuko. There you are, Fuko. Oh, I was just talking to Izzy. I told her that we're definitely going to graduate from the Academy. It's all finally over. We had some hard times during the year. They've all become good memories by now. If I'd never received the brand and stayed in my hometown, I probably would have remained an ordinary person for the rest of my life. And in that boring, normal life, I never would have met you or Mary. I guess I'm still just an ordinary girl who happens to be good at swimming. <laughs> hmm. You're not that ordinary, Fuko. Huh? Definitely. You're the only girl for me. And you can accept that and take pride in that. From the moment we first met, I never thought he was just another girl. What? Don't you think it's a little late to tell me that now? Eh, you know what I'm like. I'm a bit slow upstairs, apparently. But hey, I'm saying it now, aren't I? If that's how you feel... You should have told me earlier. That takes a long time to think things through, and all the shit that just happened makes it even harder. I'm sorry. I was too busy fighting with the monsters. I was thinking of saying something after the battle, though. Fuko? What? Why are you being so formal with me? Fuko. I love you, Fuko. Really? Yeah, kind of have to. Or rather, I kind of have ever since we first met. If it's weird. Usually the guy saving the last is the one that gets the last of falling in love with him. Not the other way around. Huh. Weird. Definitely. Yeah, I want to stay by your side. Will you take care of me? Only if you can do the same for me. Yeah! I promise you. Will you love me no matter what happens? Definitely. I swear it. So will you go to the Star Conception Festival with me? Yeah. I'd like that a lot. Gigi, let's be happy together what all of us who survived this fight should do. So let's do our best to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm not gonna give it anything less than my best. You got that? <laughs> Why don't we get going then? Here, hold my hand. We're more than just classmates now. Please, make me your number one girl. Years later, because there's always after credits stuff. I will then discuss thoughts on the game. During the actual credits, I'll show you on the last route. Because then it fits better. Anyway, now then, years later. We had a baby girl, and we decided to name her Isana. Come on, Izzy. Try putting your face in the water. I'm scared. Oh, it'll be all right. We named you after a great swimmer. Someday, you'll be able to move like a fish through the water. <laughs> Is that true? Mm-hmm. Your daddy and I will teach you. Right, daddy? 
Ah, what? Yeah. The happiness I feel when he gazes warmly at me is better than anything else. This is my own personal kind of happiness. As long as I remember this, I know I can be special to someone else. All people can become special through love and attain happiness. That's what being with him has taught me. Whew. It's all clean now. This may have been a shabby apartment, but I'm thankful to have stayed here this year. Well, this is goodbye. Ellie. Where do you think you're going, Ellie? You can't escape that easily. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I was just gonna leave because I know that saying goodbye would make you sad. Huh? Didn't you want to attend the graduation ceremony as well? I thought that if I saw you there, I wouldn't be able to go through with it. I was gonna go back to Gracie without seeing you. I see. Then let's go together then. We're headed to the same place anyway. Huh? What do you mean? You'll see. Definitely. I had a quest of work from Gracia as a former goth guest. I already got the approval too. Hold on. There's no way you could work at Gracia. You're not a still blood. <laughs> yeah, Lucia did say you owed me one, so he kinda helped out. The ether power remaining within me will be useful while I'm at Gracia as well. At least that's what he told them. Lucian did that for you? What could have made him do that? Did he have a stomachache or something? Ha! He told me he was repaying me for a debt from before. All this conscientious, isn't it? Ah, yes. Lucian can be like that. Even if it's just over a piece of candy, he always makes sure to pay you back. Yeah! Well, so that's that. So let's keep getting along, Ellie. But working for Gracia. Can't be any harder than fighting all the monsters. I mean, did you see the fight with Alec? That asshole constantly cheated. Yeah. I know, you eliminate our attacks. If you understand the duties, then you should take on a better job. Ellie. Ellie, I'm the one who saved you ten years ago. If that's been a burden for you, then I want to be there for half of it at least. Definitely. From now on, we'll share any suffering. Let me mean, face or not. Are you sure? Yeah, I wouldn't be saying this if it wasn't. You're okay with being with someone like me? Tiny and stupid? You're really fixated on this tiny thing. It doesn't bother me. Don't worry about it. That's not true. It has to be you, Ellie. I want to be with you. Thank you. I... I... I'm so glad I came to this academy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cry. We're gonna graduate with everyone else, remember? With smiles on our faces. So come on, let's go. The Star Conception Festival is today, after all. All right. So we'll go together. I love you. To be honest, I wanted you to like me as much as I like you, but I couldn't say it all this time. I thought it would just be a bother to you, but, but now I'm going to say it. Please, I want you to like me even more from now on. I'll love you more and more, so, um, I love you. Definitely. Yeah, and I love you too, Ellie. Mm -hmm. graduated, we left for Gracie together. Once again, he and I are pressed by our daily duties, just like before. <laughs> Looks like our work is over for the time being. Damn right it is. Man, I look awesome in this suit. Even got my own motorcycle. I won't have a hard time fighting the heretics ever again. Who knew that all those combat drills against the fucking monsters would come in handy? I always felt in the back of my mind that I was doing something bad. But no matter what happens, I want to be by your side. It's not about whether it's right or wrong. I've decided that doing this is what's right for me. I'm not going to be at a loss any longer. Once our work is done, he and I even get to be all lovey-dovey. <sighs> and he always smells so good. It's always nicest after I've used up my powers during our work. <sighs> Ellie, aren't you clinging on to me a little too tightly today? Nope. Once we get back to Gracia, I'm gonna flirt with you even more. You better be prepared. Warden, heretic barrier detected. Transition to search mode. We've got more work to do. Looks like we don't have time to mess around until later. 
Definitely. Yeah, so let's get this over with quick. Roger that. And so our days of hard work will continue for a while longer. I will continue with him. Sharing all the suffering, sadness, and joy. Even if we spend our days eliminating heretics, I can say this. Both of us are truly happy. Narika! There you are, Narika. Oh. Yeah. The Star Conception Festival is about to start. Yes. Um... Hmm? Yeah? Have you... already decided who you'll be going with? Definitely. Yeah. Oh... I thought so. Well... You shouldn't be wasting your time here, then. You should go find her right now. Yeah! That's actually why I'm here, Nautica. What? Nanako, will you go with me to the Star Conception Festival? Are you sure? You want to go with me? Really? Definitely. Of course. There's no one I'd want to invite more than you, to be honest. Thank you. I'm... I'm... I'm so happy. Alright. Let's go then. Um, could you wait a little bit? I'm going to go change. Okay. Hmm? Hey, wait. You're not wearing your uniform to it? Okay. Sorry for making you wait. Whoa! Whoa, not a good. Damn! Uh, um, does it look alright on me? I'm worried something's gonna fall out. Oh. I mean, yeah. Yeah, it looks really good on I you. I wanted you to see it. I stayed up late for weeks to finish it. Yeah. It's very daring and an, an unexpected design. Huh. You think it's daring? Oh yeah, it is. It's just daring enough to pop out. <laughs> I... I thought it would be cute. Wow, Narika! What a bold outfit! Not that I'd expect anything less from me. But what? I... I suddenly feel very embarrassed to be wearing this. Well, what should I do? Maybe it's not too late to go and change back. Nope, not letting you. No way in hell. I'm showing sure off. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, I, re I really think that dress looks cute. It really suits you. Definitely. Here, I can hide you like this and you won't be embarrassed anymore. And then I get to tell the guys that I got you and they can piss off. Oh, yes. I guess I'm not now. Could you keep holding me like this for the rest of the night? It's been a few months. Now that I can I graduate from the academy and we're on the World Peace Council now. Funny as that sounds, seeing as how I caused more fights than I seem to be fixing. As representative of the graduates of the Academy, I propose the following plan. Norika's so cool. Mm, yes, I'm especially fond of her ample figure. Oi, High Priest, your charge disappeared, so you can shut up and stop hitting on my woman. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing. And that concludes my proposal. Yeah! Leslie and Alec are still going to be a central figure in these meetings. Is everyone having a good time? <laughs> Whoa! I think the Star Conception Festival would be so lively. The world is finally at peace. Why wouldn't people celebrate? Chloe, are you ever going to sing again? Well, everyone loves your songs, Chloe. But I guess she only sings for God's gift now. Yeah. Chloe. Hmm? What is it? Yeah. Let's get out of here. Leave the Star Conception Festival? Hmm? You want to stick around because you're a teacher, don't you? Nope. I'm all for your idea. Then shall we go? In fact, there's somewhere I'd like to go. Do you want to come with me? Huh? Do I need to go sing it, cutie? Okay. Yeah, let's go in. How do I look? Wait a second. This is... A uniform? Yep, it's the Academy uniform. Looks a bit short on you. <laughs> I became a teacher after skipping several grades. Because of that, I was only able to wear this for a little while. To be completely honest, I was a little jealous that everyone else got to wear it. So I promised myself that I would wear it after the world was at peace. So, do you like it? Definitely. Yeah. Look better in that uniform than anyone at the academy does. 
All right. Let's start this late night concert for one. Hey. Chloe, before you start, there's something I need to know, though. What is it? Really? You still want to get on stage and sing for everyone, don't you? Well... No. The world's at peace. And I don't want to hog all your magical songs. Your voice is one to be shared. Cherished, even. I'd be in a world of hurt if I kept you all to myself, to be honest. Yeah! And most importantly, I do love to see you on that stage. You know me so well. You know how I feel even when I try to hide it. <laughs> of course. I'm your manager. And I'll be your manager for life. And I'll be your idol for life. Yeah. That's great to hear, too. But for today, let me sing just for you. Hmm? You're not going to put on a song? No, it's a cappella. I wrote the song myself. Whoa! That's so sweet and awesome. And I'm going to sing my heart out for you. The title is, You're the Only One for Me. Let's begin. Hey, Tori. Tori. I had a feeling you'd be here, Tori. What's wrong? Your face is red. Are you sick? Do you need cold medicine? Hey. You remember our promise from before? Of course. I never forget it. You and I will go to the Star Conception Festival together. I never did promise that. I said to think about it, but yeah. I've been waiting and thinking. He's taking a while. And is he here yet? Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad I got the courage up to ask you out for it, though. All right, then let's get this underway. Mm-hmm. I'm sure it'll be okay this time. You'll be with me after all. I'll get it ready at once. Is everyone enjoying the Star Conception Festival? Now that the party is in full swing, I have an announcement to make. Alright guys, take it away. The workshop's warehouse is opening up. What's about to start? How's the seat back there? It's alright. A bit tight since we made it a two-seater at the last minute, but I'm sure I'll manage. I don't need my legs much, right? That was an amazing idea you had to use your ether to amplify my star energy. Yeah! That was simple once I figured it but out. it doesn't work unless we both do it together. That's the important part. Huh. <laughs> but like class man, huh? We gotta work together to see this through. Definitely. Right. Presenting the pair's joint project, the Stork of Love V1. The Stork of Love? That makes it sound like they're crazy about each other. Man, I'm jealous. <sighs> Maybe it was a mistake after all to let Tony name Did it. Did you say something? No, darling, nothing at all. No? Nope. Okay, so that's where your star energy. I'll amplify it and we can get to take off. Tony. Good! This goodness is like three stars! No! Ten stars! Easily! And up here, nobody can stop! No, wait, no, if I do this, we crash, don't we? Okay, I'm gonna babe. It's so nice to be up here. Ah, come on, man! We're up in there, it's romantic, there's nobody to stop me! <laughs> ah, <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Now we can fly to wherever we want! Mount High Club, here we come! <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, and I'll go wherever you go. Even to the end of the world. Okay, I'm changing course to the south. Let's head to that blue star of happiness. Right after you. Let's go. Yeah. Right. Fine. So this is where you are. Yes. Today is a great day for photos. I was getting ready to take everyone's pictures. But it's sad, isn't it? That the Academy is closing down. Yeah, but it's probably for the best. There's no monsters to kill anymore. Even I'm out of a job. Sure. 
Yeah, but we did make tons of memories too. They weren't all pleasant memories, but we got through it all together. Yes, I think so too. I'm hoping that my pictures today will capture only pleasant memories. Alright! Then let's go to the Star Conception Festival. Yes. It looks like other people are taking pictures too. Alright, then let's start taking some as well. This will really be the final activity of the photography club. Will you help me with it? Definitely. Of course. But all I do is take your pictures after all. Oh no! You're no longer just a cameraman for me. I want you to take pictures of what you want. So go and take pictures of whatever you really want. And send them to me after we graduate. That's what I'm doing. Huh? Definitely. I want to take pictures of you. Would you let me take a picture forever? That's what I want to do, so why not? Huh? But, but aren't you going back home? And forever? Huh? Huh? What do you mean? Fine. I love you. So of course I'm going to be with you forever. Whether you like it or not. I want to be with you forever. <gasps> In my purse. Yeah. I'll wipe them, don't worry about it. Whenever you're sad or happy, I'll be there to wipe your tears. Sir? Don't call me sir! The double your dress this! Stop no. it! Could you really stop with the sir? Just my name is fine, okay? Okay. I love you. I wanna love you for the rest of my life. I love you so much. Definitely. So do I, Fina. I want you to be by my side. Even if you said no, I wouldn't listen. All right. Then let's take our first photo together. Oh, yes. What the hell's a helic? Hurry, over here. I'm Scottish, and even I don't know. The hell? Whoa. So this is where you were born, huh? It's more beautiful than I ever imagined. You can take pictures later. And I can take pictures now. My friends are all waiting to see you. What the hell are you guys doing? So are my parents. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, parents love me. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Your parents, I wonder how that'll what go. What are you saying? Are they? You're still going to marry me, right? Hell yeah, I kicked their ass if they said no. They don't have to accept. Definitely. Of course I will. Why did you stutter? Uh, no. I'm nervous. <sighs> You're so different from when you were fighting monsters. Well, yeah, that was a case of light, life and death. This is kind of the case of the future. This one's a lot scarier. But I love that part of you as well. Oh, Fine's brought home her husband. Hey, over here. We're all here. Oh, it's all my friends. Let's go. We were greeted by all my friends and were married that very day. We haven't decided what to do from there. The only sure thing is that I will continue to take pictures with him. He will always be next to me, taking my picture. I don't feel lonely anymore. I'm sure everyone has a person like that waiting for them. That feeling of loneliness is a gift from the Star God so that people can meet. That's how I feel now that I've met the person waiting for me. Dude. What? I know you didn't ask anybody to come to the Star Conception Festival. Yeah, I couldn't win. If I take one, the rest would all hate me, so I couldn't decide. But do you have to tag along on my date with you, Jay? Yes, yes, I do. I have to make you look bad. <laughs> I didn't have anything else to do today, so why not? As learned she had said she was okay if I came along, so I'm ruining your day. You're the worst wingman ever. You don't know when to pull out. I'm the best wingman ever. I should have to pull out. <laughs> today is my second date with Luce. And I'm gonna destroy it. <laughs> Think of it this way. This is a real test of your love. If you can stop me from being me, then she's wor and then you're worthy of her. Otherwise, nope. If the mood gets right, I thought I might ask her to go steady with me. Huh? Really? I thought that the two of you would have already sealed the deal already. I mean, we're close enough that I've been able to help her heal emotional scars. So you're the friend, huh? But with regards to romance, I've still got a long way to go. Yep, friend zone for the win. I'm sorry. Sorry, right, that was kind of insensitive of me, huh? I get too excited over being able to spend time with friends after what's happened. Well, there won't be any more classes after the festival. 
Yeah. We kind of lost our opportunity to see each other because of that. Class, what are you two talking about? He's morning because I'm ruining the day, but hey, I'm a glorified third wheel. You like it. <laughs> two guys chatting together. Am I being left out? Well, of course not. Sorry. But I just remembered I had business to take care of. I guess I'll leave you alone. I'll see you later. Huh. Is that so? Yeah. Don't worry about Definitely. it. Definitely. Yeah, you two go enjoy karaoke by yourself today, okay? I see. It's a shame you couldn't join us. Isn't it, Fox? Yeah, sure. See ya. Have fun, you guys. Yeah. See you later. Oh, hold on a sec. What? Hmm? What is do it? Do you really have to do whatever it is today? Yeah? Well, pretty sure, yeah. Huh? Well, no, but... I mean, we're all together today. I guess the three of us should be hanging out. Come on, whatever you were going to do can wait till later. I don't know, but okay. Fox. But, Claude, you've just finished mourning about me. Look, I'm saying that I want to hang out with you two. Why don't you just say you that? Won't. All right, fine. Guess I can put it off. All right, we're gonna sing till we drop today. What? What's up? If it's all right with you, would you sing with me? Yeah, of course. I'll do as many duets as you want. Serena, would you go with me to the stock Section festival? After spending pretty much a year. Pissing you off, winding you up, and basically having the most fun possible, annoying you. I kind of uh, feel like I owe you a few. And I did agree to marry you when we had the whole hot springs escapade, so... Serena, darling, where you want to go? You're... you're really inviting me? I didn't think you were going to come. Huh? Why wouldn't I come? Because there's so much I haven't said. I never said thanks for helping me out so much, and I never let you know how I felt. I don't know how to tell you. Please, help me transform one last time. Wait, what? I feel so much more confident like that. Please, once more. I prefer this form though. Bye. Got it. Alright, you got Close it. Close your eyes. I'll see the magic words. Definitely. Like this? Come on, people, it's me. You know what I'm gonna do. You know pretty well what I'm gonna do. It's just what happens. Sorry, I had to screenshot that. It was just so good. Anyway, yeah? Huh? Serena, did you just. As long as I'm with you, I don't feel so small anymore. I don't need magic spells. Serena. Darling. <laughs> You better get used to this. It's gonna happen again and again, just like this. <laughs> now let's go! Come on, hold my hand. Definitely. Wait, there's something I have to tell you, Snap. What is it? Serena. I love you. I always have and I probably always will. I mean, ever since day one, and people do say that you wind up those that you like, so uh, I guess I always have loved you from the very start. Probably didn't make it that obvious though, did I? Okay, I made it more obvious and humanly possible, but still. I still love you though. What? I... I love you too. You accepted me for who I am. I really love you. You're my first love, you know that? First and only, right? I've always hoped my first love would love me back. And he does. My first love. I hope it feels like this forever. Well, you know me. I kind of had to make it up to Serena. I really did admit that we were going to marry her after we saw her in the fucking hospital. So, <laughs> we had a few uh, things we needed to make up for. Because that may or may not have caused a massive argument. Anyway. So yeah, of course I was going to pick Serena. I spent the entire game hitting on her been rather obvious that I liked her. They made her Christina V. <laughs> I'm a sucker for Christina V. Anyway, as my throat still sucks, I'm gonna do a very quick brief, or actually, suppose I know it's everyone that's bared with me for however many parts this is. This is genuinely longer a game than I thought it was. Anyway, I did like this game. I do like this game. It's just the combat that ruins it. 
The story is great, the classmate is hilariously stupid, but the thing that ruins it really is the last, you can tell they either ran out of time or money, because the actual last two dungeons are repetitive as hell, they're really dull and boring. That's why you never saw the final actually floor of that labyrinth, because it was literally the same fight with the same enemies over and over. It was a repeat of the previous dungeon when it told me that. So, I decided not to show you that, instead I showed you the boss fights, because you're more interested in the boss fights. Actually, you're more interested in the story, which is what I showed you. Anyway, but as I was saying, the combat really ruins it. It was such a good idea, but they didn't expand on it correctly. They expanded on it a little bit, and then they were like, hey, it's good enough. They sort of shot themselves in the foot. That idea. Apart from that, I do like this game. I will not write, I, I always, whenever I do credits, I'm always like, right, you need to buy this game because of blah. I'm not going to do that this time. Because I didn't actually buy this game on the PC. Because the PC port, as I said many, many, many times, sucks. It just does. It crashes. That's why I may stop playing it. It genuinely crashes. My PC is fairly beefy. And you saw it yourselves. Every now and again, it would stop. Wait. Then go. And it never done run. Didn't have a fucking boss fight. It's really odd. It's not very well coded. Because I reckon what they did to port it was literally copy-paste the code from the Switch. That's not the Switch. From the Vita to the PC and change some of the inputs to run with the controller and not the actual Vita buttons, obviously. But they didn't change them all. As I showed you, there was the one that comes with a fucking triangle. So, yeah. As far as PC parts go, it's a very bad one. But, it is a good game. I do like it. I mean, there's a reason I played through it twice. <laughs> but yeah, so I will now shut up. You can enjoy this. And... I hope you enjoyed the playthrough. Post in the comments below your favourite part of this series so far. Well, this series as a whole. And I can tell you this on good form. If they remake and bring the first game over here, because they've already remade it, you see, I will probably play it. As long as the combat... No, like, as long as they update the combat. Because apparently this was the updated version of that. So, yeah. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. I really do look forward to seeing what you posted in the description. In the comments. And I will see you for whatever our next series is. Thank you for staying with us the entire time. Or just watching the end. But thank you after all anyway. I will see you later. Three months have passed since the Academy closed. So what are the two of us doing right now? Are you sure you don't want to go home? Nah, I like the view from here just as well. I could spend forever here, so don't worry about it. Hmm? Am I bothering you? Is that what you're trying to say? No, you're not. So why bring it up? <laughs> you're the only person who helps me at the cafe. Well, Nazanin is kind of busy, and it is... I, how am I helping? All I ever do is drink your tea. Now that Nazan is in charge of the amusement park, I don't think I could run this place by myself. Yeah. Can I stay here with you? Sure. Go ahead. Stay here as long as you like. You sure about that? You're absolutely sure about this, darling. You were kinda mad when we had to share the bed in the fucking hotel, remember? I can make your meals every day. Tomorrow, the next day, and forever. Uh, man, 
Yet the third, after seeing all those endings and even hanging out with Klaus, I'd have a better idea who I want to be How with. How could this happen? The thing that all seven girls would ask me to go to the Star Conception Festival. Who in the world am I meant to choose? No, no matter who I pick, I'm going to end up hurting someone's feelings. Something all this happened, I should just not go to the festival with anyone. I'm sure that'll hurt them all, but it's better than me just choosing one girl. Today is the Star Conception Festival. Ah! Um... Guys, if you ever see a scenario like this, run. It's what's known of as a war committee. You will die. Just run. I wonder who God's gift is going to take to it. My heart is pounding. I'm very curious. Yeah, I wonder too. Well, I'm pretty sure that it's not me. Why do you think that? Uh, uh, I mean... I really don't have a clue what he's thinking. Yeah, it's hard to tell. That's why I asked him myself. I asked if he would go with me to the festival. Huh? Um, I actually asked him too. Seriously? I might as well admit it. I did too. I as well. <sighs> me too. I'm sorry. I actually did as well. And so did I. Huh? So we all asked him to go to the Star Conception Festival with us? Wow, what a surprise. That's right, that's a combination of dots. That's the whoa shit. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. I can't pick. Don't make a guy decide. I wonder who he's gonna choose. The people that don't get chosen will be sad. It's not his fault. We're the ones who asked him in the first place. Yeah, I bet nobody was expecting that, huh? To be honest, I knew everything. I knew he was being friendly with other girls besides me. But I kept telling myself there was nothing I could do about it. That he had to get close to other girls in order to create strong star children. That's true. Do you think he was only kind to us because he had a duty to make us like him? Do you really believe that? Do you think he's that manipulative to twist our emotions like a psychopath? Can you imagine him doing that? Hell no. He's not that kind of person. That's right. Indeed. Yep. Yeah. But it's come to this. So no hard feelings, whoever gets chosen, okay? But I still feel bad. Because I still hope that he picks me. But then again... Maybe he freaked out because we all asked him. Don't worry, he won't run. Well, if you're going to go to the festival, now's the time to get ready for it. He does know that we're all here, right? He'll come, Moni? I'm sure he will. <sighs> I'm beginning a lot of thought. I just can't run from this. I live on an island. There's no way to get off this without the binding. God damn it. Each of the girls are brave enough to ask me to go with them. <laughs> I have the responsibility to give them all an answer. This is... Yet. Yeah. Huh? We're all waiting to hear your answer. Tony, is that the dress you found out why I can't bring that up? Uh... Savina, darling. Let me do it. We're but... ready for any answer. Uh... As you can see, we're all ready to go to the Star Conception Festival with you. All you have to do is choose. If it was possible, I'd want us all to participate in the festival together. But this is our final battle. The winner will be the one you choose. Now, who's it going to be? Hang on a second. And don't say everyone! Ah, damn it, you know me well, ladies. But this party don't stop. Damn right, that's the best name for a fucking achievement. <laughs> that's right, people, you thought I was done, but if you were sneaky and looked at the bar, you'd have realized. No, it wasn't. It's the actual heart of man. But apparently, as long as you see all the other endings, including the friend one, you get straight away. So, there you go. Ta-da! Now, let's see if there's anything extra after these credits. Because that's the real question. Because I honestly don't remember. They all look really good in the wedding dresses, though. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking and let's see what happens. After that, I never would have imagined I'd answer them like I did. But 
trip to go see everyone's hometowns is pretty fun now that we're doing it. But since you live on the island, aren't you getting nothing out of this? Huh? Are you trying to say that I don't have the right to come on this journey? Of course not. That's not what I meant at all. Are you sure? All right, break it up. Quit fighting like that. We're all here together, with him. We've all come to terms with it, and we all said we're okay with this. That's right. Plus, it's more fun when we're all traveling together. I have a constant feeling of excitement. Oh, we're getting close enough to see Miss Chloe's hometown. Wow, it's been so long. I wonder if everyone's been well. Um, I'm sorry to cause everyone trouble, but I did mention having to do something. Right, about the heretics. You told us. I can't allow someone like that to use my home as a hiding place. Seeing everyone's homes and taking down heretics, it's killing two birdies at once. If I can wield my sword for peace, then I shall gladly lend it. Well, Mr. Pilot, make sure we get there safely. Wait, I'm meant to be flying this thing? Sorry, was I you all up? I mean, I'm flying this thing. Autopilot, do your job. <laughs> yep, I'm gonna go make sure we get Definitely. there. You can trust me with that. Autopilot's pretty damn good. <laughs> Alright, ladies, I gotta go deal with it. I have a responsibility to take all of you towards whatever futures you wish for. So don't any of you worry about it. Alright! And have my damn children, okay?